This is the 2023 Infiniti QX50, a car that skews towards comfort rather than sportiness, which should be a non-issue for most buyers. What they get instead of athleticism and driver engagement are a smooth ride and a quiet cabin. The car delivers stylish looks and an upscale interior ambiance, but it lacks the substance needed to thrive against its top-ranked competitors. The 2023 QX50 carries over from the previous model year mostly unchanged, but a new sport model replaces the essential trim in the middle of the lineup. The sport name may be a bit of a misnomer since it adds no performance enhancing features, but it looks sharp with gloss black exterior trim and dark painted 20 inch wheels. The cabin gets semi aniline leather upholstery and a 12 speaker Bose stereo. The rest of the lineup benefits from a few new standard features, heated exterior mirrors, remote start, wireless smartphone charging pad, among others, and all models now come with three years of complimentary scheduled maintenance. Today, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the Infiniti QX50. Inside, the QX50 can be fitted with quilted leather seats, wood interior trim, and a faux suede headliner. However, these upscale appointments are available only on the most expensive model. Still, every QX50 has a comfortable and quiet cabin that includes a spacious second row with reclining seat backs that prove to be a headlight of the 2019 QX50. Each car of the lineup benefits from a few new standard features, heated exterior mirrors, remote start, wireless smartphone charging pad, among others. The QX50 is equipped with a novel dual screen infotainment display an 8-inch display for media navigation in addition to a 7-incher below for climate controls. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, and integrated navigation is optional. Higher trims also have a head-up display. Six-speaker audio is standard, but for those who want more, a 12-speaker Bose system is available. The dual touchscreen infotainment system will bother some more than others because the heated steering wheel and custom drive mode settings are only accessible through this interface. While there is the familiar volume knob, the rotary controller on the center console only operates the top screen. Every model has a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot, and both 12 and 16 speaker Bose stereo systems are available. One of the QX50's greatest strengths is its passenger space and storage. Rear seat legroom bests the BMW X3 and Genesis GV70, and cargo space behind the rear bench exceeds that of either car, as does the maximum cargo space with 873 liters or 31 cubic feet behind the back seat and up to 1,840 liters or 65 cubic feet with the 60-40 split folding rear bench folded flat. Since its redesign for the 2019 model year, Every QX50 has been powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that uses variable compression, called VC Turbo. The engine makes 268 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, and pairs with a continuously variable automatic transmission that directs power to either the front or all four wheels. The car industry is overflowing with 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engines, but the QX50s is different from the rest. It's the only variable compression engine in the industry, which can offer the performance of a naturally aspirated V6 at low compression and the efficiency of a diesel 4-pot at high compression. Efficiency and reduced emissions are the primary goals of this technology. The system is largely successful. In fact, the front-wheel drive QX50 is rated at 23 miles per gallon city and 29 highway, while the all-wheel drive version has estimates of 22 miles per gallon city and 28 highway. All these estimates align with the similarly equipped BMW X3 and Volvo XC60, but that's disappointing when you consider the VC turbo engine is intended to be more efficient than traditional alternatives. Front wheel drive is standard and all wheel drive is optional with a CVT automatic used either way the AWD-equipped QX50 accelerates to 100 km per hour or 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds. 
the engine seamlessly swaps between high compression during steady cruising and low compression during hard acceleration. While it never exhilarates when the pedal hits the metal, only those seeking a seriously quick crossover will be disappointed. Unfortunately, the engine is loud under heavy throttle, and the CVT makes this worse, especially around town. The Infiniti prioritizes comfort and luxury, with a compliant ride that is composed on rough roads and smooth on the highway. While the steering wheel provides little communication with the road surface, it has accurate reactions and light effort. Unfortunately, the Infiniti's soft brake pedal operates inconsistently. This leads to more than one shoddy stop in rush hour traffic, where the QX50's nose dives forward under heavy braking. Still, it only needs a competitive 50 meters or 164 feet to stop from 110 kilometers per hour or 70 miles per hour. The QX50 earns good crashworthiness ratings in two IIHS tests, plus a five-star overall safety rating from the NHTSA. Thankfully, every QX50 has a host of standard driver assistance technology that includes lane departure warning, lane centering, and lane keeping assist. Key safety features also include forward collision warning and automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control with stop and go technology. The QX50 has five different trims with five different MSRPs. The Pure starts at $41,495, the Lux at $44,795, the Sport at $49,695, the Sensory at $53,995, and the Autograph at $58,545. The new mid-level Sport is probably the best choice among the QX50's many trims, as it comes with a decent amount of standard equipment, including a 360-degree camera system, heated and cooled front seats, in-dash navigation, interior ambient lighting, and more. Those who want all-wheel drive should expect to dole out another $2,000. Although many luxury brands offer complimentary scheduled maintenance, Infinity does not. It does provide competitive limited and powertrain warranties, along with four years of roadside assistance. Limited warranty covers four years or 60,000 miles or 96,500 kilometers. Powertrain warranty covers six years or 70,000 miles or 112,500 kilometers. Complimentary maintenance is covered for three years, regardless of vehicle mileage. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.